selected to be a part of the premier group of Mariachi Spectacular All-Stars because you are considered a torch carrier of the Mariachi Flame. What does that mean to you? Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to thank the Mariachi Spectacular for inviting me to be part of this project. Uh, it's very important to me because I've dedicated my life to Mariachi music, professionally speaking. Um, I've been active as part of the Mariachi Spectacular team of instructors since the very first year. And um, in fact, I've instructed 26 of the 30 years um, of its existence. So I feel it's a well-deserved recognition, and, and I'm very honored and proud to be part of it. Tell us about your first experience with mariachi music. Was it part of your family, something you discovered on your own? Did you learn in school? Can you share? Well, I'm a second-generation mariachi musician, so you can say I was born into it. Um, and, of course, the culture that, that surrounds it. Uh, my father was the founder and director of Mariachi Los Caporales since the 60s, and I was born in 68, so since birth I was around it. Um, it was something we listened to every day. Of course, I would attend my father's rehearsals and when he was practicing at home, and even some public gigs that I would attend with him. So um, I knew at a very young age that it was what I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, like most young boys growing up, I wanted to be like my father. So he recognized that you know, very young, uh, early on and uh, kind of took me under his wings and that was, that was it. Was it at this time that you became passionate about the music or did it come a little later on? Well, because I was so young when I first started, I can't put an exact moment to it. Um, but I, I guess it would start or started when I first picked up an instrument um, and then just grew from there. Um, I recall listening to old vinyl LPs with my dad every day, all the time. It's what we did on our free time. And um, the passion started then. Um, and, you know, we wouldn't just listen to the music. We would, would actually dissect it, talk about it, pick out the harmonies, what we call the cuerdas, the bass lines, the um, chord structures. And my dad would, you know, coach me along the way. So uh, that's probably the, the time that it started for me. How important do you think music exposure is to young children, and why? Um, I think it's very important um, for those who are willing to devote their time to the, to the art and who show the interest, of course. Um, music may not be for everyone, but I've seen firsthand the effects that it has on hundreds of young musicians, and it's always a positive outcome. Have you personally witnessed any positive changes in any students you've taught? Absolutely. Um, I've witnessed it so many times through, through my programs that I've taught and privately as well. You know, I've seen children go from being very shy to being very outgoing. Um, I've seen their confidence levels rise. Uh, I've seen kids who were on the wrong path get back on the right path. And I've seen the uh, family members come closer with the younger generation because the music seems to tie them together. And uh, so, yeah, I feel it gives uh, children uh, a sense of belonging and they... They just want to do better and, um, and do well. Who do you consider to have the most influence in your musical career? Now, is that the same person that continues to inspire you today? Well, on a famous professional level, um, of course, I would have to start with Don Pepe Martinez, who is my personal idol. Uh, Don Ruben Puentes, Don Jesus Rodriguez de Ijar, Don Rigoberto Alfaro, Don Miguel Martinez, of course. But on a more personal and local level, of course, my father, Miguel Santiago, uh, who was my first instructor, and um, also all my ex-compañeros from Mariachi Tenampa, whom I worked with for 30 years. And so growing up, they were not only my teachers and my mentors, but some of my best friends. And so, yeah, everyone I, I mentioned still inspires me today. You're a role model for younger generations. How do you hope to inspire this generation in the way musicians who are such a major part of the Mariachi Spectacular of Albuquerque may have inspired you? Uh, by continuing to do exactly what the masters have passed along to us, teach by example, um, by always being respectful to the genre, by always giving your best, by passing along the knowledge uh, to the next generations. Can you tell us, how did you select your instrument? Uh, well, I play several instruments, but I always loved the sound of the violin and always wanted to play it you know, from a very young age. Um, it was the one instrument that my father didn't play, so uh, we didn't have a violin around the house at that time uh, until much later. So I first started playing the vihuela and the guitar with my dad. Later, I picked up the trumpet uh, through the public school system. 
um, from fourth to, through twelfth grade, I studied uh, various styles of, of music. And then uh, when I was age, let's see, 14 years old, in a freshman in high school, my dad purchased my first violin for me, and the rest is history, as they say. Where do you see yourself as it relates to mariachi in 20 years? To be quite honest, at my age, probably just doing the same thing that I've always done, God willing, of course. Um, I absolutely love what I do, and as long as I'm able to, I will continue performing, teaching, accompanying, recording, just as I've done over the past 39 years. What piece of advice would you share with young people who want to start a career in mariachi? Uh, my advice to them would be don't ever close your mind or think that you've reached the top because no matter how well you play, you never stop learning in music and mariachi in particular. Um, soak in whatever knowledge has been passed along to you from the masters uh, and more importantly, learn how to respect the music, your traje, and of course your compañeros. How has mariachi impacted your life? Well, it gave me direction very early on in an important stage in my life, which were my teen years, of course. And so I can honestly say that it's somewhat shaped me into who I am today. And, um, you know, that's trickled down to my children and my students, past and present. And uh, it opened my eyes up to, you know, possible um, risks and dangers that were uh, associated with the music scene. Uh, but it's also taught me how to respect, and it's taught me how to be a good and honest leader and a good businessman. My name is Jose Santiago, and I am a 2021 Mariachi All-Star.